Good morning. It's 4.30 in the morning, as you can tell by my appearance, how tired I am. And we are going to go see the sunrise at Angle Wat. So let's go. The stars are still out. And our driver isn't here, which is slightly concerning. gathering but we were very lucky that we were there just as the doors were opening so we get we've got a really good spot right at the front and there's a little stone for us to perch the camera on so it's pretty perfect mm. you feeling tired oh, just a bit yeah yeah it even looks really beautiful now but <coughs> i'm gonna shut up yeah. the sunrise is gonna be happening i guess in i don't know how long do you think oh. 20 minutes half an hour i have no clue 20 minutes yeah. your time says it's oh no it doesn't I thought it said it was 11 pm. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna shut up and enjoy the beautiful sunrise at Angle Wat. We were right there, looking over there. No, we're over here. That was really beautiful, but we weren't lucky in getting a red sunrise because I guess it depends on the weather. Sometimes you just get kind of like the sun rising and you don't really see any colour. Which is a shame, still lots of other but colors. still very beautiful and still lovely to see and worth it for sure. And I think we were very lucky yesterday because when we looked up on TripAdvisor, it was saying how like, oh, you want to, if you do the sunrise, go look around the temple afterwards because it's not as busy. And this is actually, I would say, a little bit busier than what it was like yesterday when we were going around. And I got the impression from like TripAdvisor and stuff that when you go around on a busy day, like it's like a swarm of people, you just have to kind of follow a path of people. And like the line you saw in yesterday's vlog, it said like a 45 minute wait and we just went straight in. So I think it's pretty lucky, but today is a Saturday. So that would make it more busy than usual. But I think we're gonna go find somewhere to sit and have some breakfast. How cool is that? That we can say we're gonna have breakfast at Angle Watt. Pretty cool. Oh my god, there's literally a, a, like a horse. It looks like a unicorn. I'm gonna go see it. Is that a wild horse or is that somebody's horse? Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, there's more people here. I don't think you get as good view here because the sun rose over there. I really want to go and stroke him. Look how beautiful. Um, nom, 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 oh, nom, 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 itchy foot. <laughs> I think getting in there. <laughs> this makes me sad though. Animals don't belong on ropes. We're gonna have a little picnic on the stones. Have to see what goodies they have for us in here. Mm. I don't think I've ever seen more square bread. Like, it literally looks like it's come out of a tin. Beautiful morning. Never expected to be having breakfast sat in front of Angle Watt. But we're not, we've decided not to go around it again today because we did it yesterday and it was beautiful and we were here for like two and a half hours. 
and we're getting off flight later at nine. So we don't want, I wanna go back and nap until checkout, which is at 12 because we've packed all our bags and stuff so I can nap till like half 11. And I know that there are lots of other places that are like Anglewatt's huge and you can go see a lot of other stuff, but um, I think I'm all tapped out. It's beautiful, like so stunning. Interesting that people, there's like a three day pass there, don't you think? I wonder, yeah. like I haven't done enough research because I know that there are lots of other like, this is like the main complex, the main bit. There are loads of bits around it that you can go see. This is like the only part, so we can have a think, but I just, I'm so tired. <laughs> Six hours later. So I feel very naughty because we haven't vlogged in a long time. It's now half three in the afternoon. I've got my little office set up here at our favorite cafe. It's called Peace Cafe, if you haven't seen Reek. It's like our favorite place because it's just so relaxed. The food is amazing. The menu has so many different options and we can just chill. There's these seats, there's proper seats. There's like big round chairs and we've just been using the internet, but the internet just died. So now I'm procrastinating using the camera. So we slept until about half 11 and then checked out of our hotel and we've just been doing some work and stuff and sorting through photos. And then we're gonna have to leave soon to go catch our flight. Um, but I'm definitely glad that I had that sleep. I definitely needed it and we had some nice food. So um, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm still not feeling quite right. I think I need a good sleep in Hanoi. Um, we're there for about, it's five nights, but it's only like three days because the day we arrive it's at 9 p.m. and then the day we leave, we obviously have to go catch our flights. So it's only three full days there. Um, and then we're off to Canada uh, to meet my family. So yeah, I'm kind of re really looking forward to going to Canada. I'm sure you guys might have noticed we're feeling a little bit worn down and tired. And um, it's because we're just moving from place to place so quickly because we had to fit it all in and I really wanted to go to Cambodia and Vietnam before we left. So we had to fit it all in and carrying our bikes around has been a bit of a nightmare, but um, yeah. I guess I'll probably catch you when we're moving on from here or maybe we might get some dinner here before we leave for the airport. We're only here for another hour and a half so maybe we ought to get some food now. Backpack. Ah. So we're leaving Peace Cafe now and have um, takeaway food, which fingers crossed they'll let us take through security. Um, highly recommend coming here. They um, donate to charity and there's yoga classes and cooking classes and they work with those different charities to help young people and disadvantaged people in the community. So definitely come here and it also have a really great gift shop with loads of fair trade stuff and stuff made from recycled materials so yeah highly highly recommend come to Peace Cafe if you're ever in CM Reap. Hi Peace Cafe and it's great because our hotel is just across that bridge. <laughs> Traffic! tucked in. I don't think we've shown you any of these journeys. We did this from the Phnom Penh airport and back. No, not and back. To, in Phnom Penh twice with two tuk-tuks on our bikes and then when we arrived here, it's quite funny really, <laughs> like carrying these big bike boxes. But it works. <laughs>
that was delightful. Isn't it good? You're still enjoying yours. Oh, the lady at the shop, she complimented me on my necklace. She said, oh, I like your necklace, it's pretty. That was nice. I can't wait to show you. I'm definitely gonna do a tour of the place we're staying because it's really nice. It'll either be on this channel or the other one. Um, because I picked it because it was only like a tiny bit more expensive but it's still ridiculously cheap because everywhere here so it's £25 a night um, so it's so cheap still but um, really really nice it's the most expensive actually no what's the most expensive place we've stayed Bali yeah um, but everywhere else we've been staying it's been like under 20 quid a night so I was looking at places in Toronto and I was like shocked I was like oh god it's like so expensive it's like 70 quid a night I don't know it is us boarding very early Alex is still eating his food on to our last destination in Southeast Asia, Asia in general. There he is. Come on! <laughs> Are you excited and sad that that was the last Asian stop? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was saying, I was talking to my our friend Maggie, you might remember from the vlogs, and she said that it's, she's in Canada now, and she said it's really nice to, it's like refreshing to be in a place where they speak English everywhere. Well, because it's comforting, no, isn't it? Mean. When you're in a foreign country and everyone's speaking a different language from you, you can feel a bit like lost sometimes. So I am looking forward to that. But I'm going to miss, obviously, TikToks. all the wonderful things about Asia. I know I'm being broad, Southeast Asia. I won't miss the humidity. I won't miss the humidity, but I will miss the weather, I will miss the plants, I will miss the people, I will miss the food. Pretty much everything. Yeah. About living. Yeah, living the cheap, the cheapness yeah. of living. Just the general, like, how everyone's so chilled out and relaxed. But I am bored. being around my family, most important. Cut that in at the end then. Well, it is, I miss them, so it'd be really nice. really hot. Yeah, it's like 9 o'clock at night, it's 33 degrees. We also rode on the bus with the, the pilots with their caps. <laughs> Very cool. It's weird seeing a pilot, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, we don't see them normally. <laughs> no idea, I was about to say no idea where Alex has gone, but he's right there. Ah. We're just waiting for our bikes. Where are they? <laughs> we got them. They look all right. We've arrived finally, like <clears throat> 11 o'clock. We're pretty tired. I think we're just going to sleep in tomorrow and We'll give you a tour. Then, I was about to say that, yeah, I'll give you a tour of the apartment and I think we're going to go shopping, don't know, something like that. So, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.